Good morning, here is Father Denny. Today we are in the 19th Sunday of Ordinary Time. And uh, today's Gospel passage is also from the Gospel of John. And we have been discussing on the same Gospel for last two Sundays. And we know already the theme of the Gospel. It is about the Eucharist, uh, the bread discourse. And Jesus is emphasizing again, He is the bread of life. So the first part of the Gospel, uh, Jesus told to Jews that he is the bread of life came down from heaven and the Jews started to murmuring uh, against to him and Jesus stopped them and told them stop murmuring this is told them stop murmuring so here i do have a question why they murmured the reason is they don't want to listen to Jesus and they don't want to accept Jesus as a savior as a son of God and Jesus is the bread of life and here the church and the gospel passage of today putting forward another question to all of us are you a person of murmuring sometimes we wor- we murmur no that means we murmur about other people family members and friends and co-workers and leaders of our nation and uh, the priest so jesus is emphasizing don't do that and we know that that is wrong we have to avoid it so jesus is telling try to avoid making comment about others more than that accept them and respect them and we see something wrong in others life or we see something which we don't like in others like we make a comment so try to avoid it and the second thing this murmuring has another meaning in this context is complaining in our life we complain to god sometimes about our family about our children about our husband about our financial situation so we are complaining to god we are not happy about what we have in order to avoid this bad habit of complaining of what we have we have the answer from today's first reading where we can see elisha he was in a difficult situation but god provided him the food he never complained about the situation but rather he was relying on the providence of god so let us try to rely on the providence of god and the second thing in the psalms of today taste and see the goodness of god try to find the goodness of god everything of your life even the life of your husband even the life of your wife even the life of your children even the wife of life of your grandchildren even the life of your friends and co-workers try to find the goodness in them there are weakness there are bad ha- habits in them but more than that see the goodness in them and thank god for that person thank god for that situation finally the whole gospel is pointing towards one reality jesus is the bread of god came down from heaven we have to believe and when we receive it we will have the eternal life so the conclusion of the gospel of the readings of today is nothing but try to avoid comments about others try to avoid complaining to god what you have more than that taste and see the goodness of god and believe in the real presence of god in the eucharist this is the blessing for today may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and pray for me thank you have a great sunday